Hello, beer drinkers. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Dell. And this is the, the West Coast, Coast Beer Cast. So, what do we have on the agenda tonight, Bobby K? Summer brews. Nice. Because it's summer. Nice. Yes. All right. Easy enough. So, we'll start things off. Pretty mainstream traditional the Samuel Adams Summer Ale. People that tend to uh, like mellow beers tend to like Sam. So, good start. After that, we have the Dundee Summer Wheat Beer. Third on our list, we have the Gordon Biersch Summer Brow. Spelled differently than Summer Brew, the Summer Bra. So, summer Bra? Summer Bra. That is German. Bra. It's supposed to be German. After that, we have the Mendocino Seasonal Bach Beer. So I think this is our first Bach. Yeah, Bach's a little stronger beer usually. Sierra Nevada Summer Fest. Crisp summer lager. Looking forward to that. As opposed to the ale. Because you're, they're usually making all ale, so I love that. Oh, yes, and Buffalo Bills Brewery up in uh, Hayward, California. Hey, you. Yeah. Orange Blossom Cream Ale. This is kind of like a, uh, well, it's kind of like a white, Belgian white wheat, but it's creamy. With honey, orange peel. Yeah. Finally, Carl Strauss, another fairly mainstream brewery, the Pintail Pale Ale. They're seasonal. All right. Let's so, take a look at our history segment. We have a new historian from the uh, cleavage of the back hills of Alaska, Stumpy. Hey, kids, it's Stumpy here. Summer is a thirsty season, one for which beer is tailor-made. Delicious, nutritious, and refreshing, beer is a 100% natural way to unwind after a long, hot day. Even better, beer is so cost-effective that even the finest brews rarely set you back more than a couple bucks. From wheat beers and fruit beers to summer ales and brisk lagers. I remember my first lager. It was the summer of love. The flavor possibilities are endless. So why not break out of the mass market mold this summer? Next time you're shopping, check out one of these world-class summer beers. Then follow these simple steps. Chill, sip, chill, repeat. Hey, you kids, it's Stumpy. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I gotta put my tasting glasses on. All right, because it's a summer episode. Yes. Looks like you're ready for summer now. So, here we are, Samuel Adams, the summer ale. Has orange peel. Yeah. And... Paradise. paradise. Grains of paradise. I don't know what that means. Are they trying to be clever? Doesn't smell much. Orangey and sweet up front. Yeah. Real sweet. Really sweet. Like a fun dip sweet up front. Really bready up front too. Pleasant. Not a lot of complexity, but it's yeah, enjoyable. A little more flavor, flavorful than a typical wheat. Yeah, or a typical Sam for me. Not very hoppy. Getting lots of bread. Good. I mean, after a long day of pulling weeds, this would be enjoyable. Yeah. Sam Adams, always a good choice. Even today. The Dundee Summer Wheat. We, have, we know nothing about this. Any of you know anything about I it? I know a lot about it. They're in Rochester, New York. They uh, make this hef. This is the Dundee hef. I didn't know they make beer in Rochester, New York. Apparently so. There's no nose. And for a hef, I would expect a lot more wheat. A little bit. Not much. Not really. Not a lot of flavor. Not really getting not anything on this. I mean, it's, it's not too cloudy. It's got that hint of bitter. You taste a little bit of like the, the lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little lemon. No orange. I don't. I don't like. You don't it. need to lemon this up. This is. This is black. 
you know, it would have to be like really cold, like icy cold, and then yeah, it's definitely refreshing. Though. It looks more of a red stripe than a half. Bizarre. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, usually hefts are cloudier. You know, this yeah. is like filtered. It's, yeah, it's weird. Kind of over this beer. Kind of looks like looks a lot like a urine sample. I'm having a hard time getting over that. Oh. Yeah. All right, the Gordon beer summer. Summer bra, bra. Now this is the Kolsch style beer, which actually means no, I'm just ignoring you. Means that it was uh, actually brewed in Cologne, Germany. But it wasn't. It's just the Kolsch style. They did the dash style, so it actually wasn't. Fruity notes, sour orange, orange that's gone sour, not like the candy. Yeah. Get lots of tang up front. You get sweet up front too. Sweet, sweet, yeah. Very bubbly, carbonated. Doing little dances on my tongue. I'm getting the rind of the orange too. Like a little bit of a yeah. bitter at the end. It's like you just take a bite of the rind from the outside. Yeah. All these beers are like the, the citrus notes just overpower the hops. You know? Yeah. No, nothing's been really hoppy yet. Nothing. Mm. Yeah, now, now that I'm tasting it, all I smell is orange rind. Yeah, some a lot some of recipes rind. call for orange rind where you get the grater and do that. That's what I'm smelling with this. I've only done that once, though, so. Yeah, this is like the bitterest of the ones we've tried. Yeah. But not hoppy. No. Good. I like it. Good. All right. This is the Mendocino Bach from Mendocino Men Brewing. I always want to say Mendocino Farms. The color like, is like way different. On this. Way darker. Way it's more like on a, the nose. It's like an amber. I mean, it's just really caramel. Yes. Lots wow. of caramel. Caramel apple. They malted this up. Huh? Yeah. Crazy malts. Okay. Here we go. I love that color. It's pretty yeah, cool. beautiful. Oh, got malt over the way malt. Whoa, <laughs> hello malt. <laughs> yes. Hi malt. My name is Professor Billis. Nice to meet you. Wow. We had that one Lagunitas a while ago that had the uh, yes, the super malt, the crazy malt. malt thing or yeah. Um. Wow. What's our studio audience then? Did the um, malt just like hit you? Oh yeah. Too much? shake it that hole in so far. Yeah. I mean, someone has some character. Those other ones were struggling to find you know, any bit of yeah. character. The other ones were just drinkable and unenjoyable. Yeah. All right. So you're in Nevada, the Summerfest. I think this got our mascot, Taylor, excited. This is a lager. Sweet floral. Kind of thin smelling after the Mendocino. Yeah. Quite different. Quite how to describe it. It's floral. A hoppy lager. That's kind of strange. You know, is that what it is? Is the hop and the lager? Yeah, because Sierra Nevada is all into the pills, you know, and the hop and the, yeah. Yeah. the pine citrus kind of American pale style, and they just dump that into the lager. It's interesting. Huh. Well, I'm thinking of hops. Today that uh, we're filming, not that you're watching, but that we're filming, this is the 15-year anniversary of Stonebrew. So happy birthday to, uh, to Stonebrew. They sold their first keg of pale ale to Pizza Port down in San Diego 15 years ago today. Wow. Yeah, I think this is, ironically, the first show we've done that doesn't have anything stone. I like that color. <laughs> yeah, really light. It almost glows. Yeah. Almost transparent. And I can see through it. It must just great water. Because that's just clean. Yeah. Good floral. I light. Like it. I really refreshing. like it. Hoppy. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's refreshing, but then it gives you, like, it's light in a way that a light beer, some beers, but it gives you a lot of flavor. Yeah. Compared to the, you know, 
Um, it's almost like what a Stella wants to be when it grows up. Yeah. Got a lot of the finish. Yeah. yeah. There's a yeah great finish on this. Good. Fantastic. Well Pleasant. done. Surprise. Wow. So this is Buffalo Bills, the cream ale. What's interesting about this is it's brewed by Buffalo Bills and Hayward. It's actually bottled by Pyramid up in Portland. Pyramid Hef is probably the most common. Wow. Whoa. It's like a, <laughs> a creamsicle. It's like Orange Crush. <clears throat> yeah. A lot of orange. Wow. Lots of orange. But sweet candy orange. Mm -hmm. Not real orange. Ooh. Sweet. Very sweet. Sweet. I feel like I need to brush my teeth. Really sweet. Candy sweet. Yeah, that's one of the sweetest beers I've ever had. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it tastes and smells like a creamsicle. I don't know if I like it. I've had this by itself. I mean, it's good, but compared to the other ones, kind of weird. more complex, it's, it's just... So we're at the end of the rainbow. End of the rainbow. The Carl Strauss Pintail Pale Ale. We're going to try this. It smells sweet and hoppy. Yes. Mm. It's like, almost like the box. Yeah, dark. It's well balanced. It's sweet, it's malty, it's... Yeah, it's, it's decently hopped. Mm -hmm. Definitely a summer version of a pale. If you yeah. like pales, you, you don't want to deal with the lagers and the fruity beers. This one is good. Yeah. yeah. For you. I'm surprised. I like it a lot. I actually had this at California Adventure uh, at the beer truck, which is only Carl Strauss, and this was their seasonal. Yeah. Had that in a Red Bull, which is amazing. And it, it paired really well together. Really malty, not remotely as malty as a Mendocino. But you know, you get that maltiness up front, and then the hops, you get that bitter hop thing at the end, so it takes the sweetness away. Oh, it goes as through. opposed to some of these that were just overpoweringly sweet, and you're just. So, it it's almost, just enough sweetness, and then it kind of. It almost goes through stages, mm -hmm. like the everlasting gobstopper. Remember the original movie? Where she's like, and now it's the four horse meal. Now I'm tasting gravy. And then she has dessert. It's blueberry pie, she has a new blueberry. Kind of like this. Like sweet and malty. And then kind of ends hoppy. Did you just compare beer to a Willy Wonka movie? Yes, I did. There goes the rest of our audience. So it was nice, those of you that tuned in, nice knowing you. So now it's time for the Professor Bill rundown. A summer brews and pick of the week. All right, so rundown. First off, the Sam Adams Summer Ales. What you expect from Sam Adams? Drinkable, decent. That's Always a it. good choice. Yeah. Then the Dundee Summer Wheat. Uh, not good. It's supposed to be a wheat stock. Gordon Beers, the Summer Bra. Summer Bra. What's up, Summer Bra? The name's more enjoyable than the beer, I think. Again, it was drinkable. It's decent. Um, nothing right hot about. Mendocino Bach. Malt. Crazy Lots of malt. malt. Lots of malt. Ooh. Lots of malt. More malt than a Whopper. Whopper's the malt Whoppers, not the, yeah. the hamburger. Should have added the Summerfest. That oh, was good. Yeah. Crisp, refreshing, light, summery. When I think of summer, I think of Sierra Nevada. Summerfest. Yeah, floral. Great. Buffalo Bills, the Orange Blossom Cream Ale. Uh, tastes like a creamsicle. Pretty much. If you're in the mood for a creamsicle or um, orange soda, but as beer, Buffalo Bills is your call. If you're not, then not so much. And finally, the Carl Strauss, the Pintail Pale. Uh, surprisingly delicious. Yes. Well balanced. You get the malt up front, the hops at the end. Enjoyable. Enjoyable and sweet. All right, it's time for that pick, pick of the week. week. So it was a tough call. 
But as you can see, Bobby K is giving it away. We went with the Carl Strauss Pintail Pale. Very close between that and the Sierra Nevada Summerfest. So they're both delicious, nice up front, refreshing throughout. Yeah, it was very finish. close. You can be good with either. Yeah. But the Pintail is going to have to go in the pick of the week box. There we have it. It is a done deal. I will be enjoying my Pintail Ale from my uh, Big Bear Mountain Brewery pint glass. Special shout out to Christine who picked this up for us, lives in Big Bear, getting the beer cast up in Big Bear. So, thank you. And I'll be enjoying the Sierra Nevada Summer Fest. Summer Fest. In my special new Pilsner, uh, courtesy of Baby Mama. All right. So, I am Professor Bill. I'm Bobby Covina. Saying... Now that's a beer. beer.